Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy and as Christmas is coming, I'm coming with new Christmas ideas for presents or for Christmas decorations, whatever you like. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Christmas sock. It's easy and step-by-step -step tutorial and down there in description you will find links where you could buy beads from with a 10% discount. Here I'm using Toho beads from BB Craft. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way you help me so much. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of Toho beads. By the way, down there in description, uh, you will see the full list of materials with links where you could buy those beads from and you have 10% discount code. That is why it's a good idea to check description and there you will also see a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me. PayPal link for donations and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, what else I'm using is this Nymo nylon thread that is 0.2 millimeters which is size D and here I use size 10 beading needle. This is a free pattern that I provide and I will share it on my Facebook page as well. So if you want to download it, it, maybe it's a good idea to go there and do this. And I'm also using scissors. I'm going to be following this pattern and you will also see it here at this corner. And uh, now I'm going to put about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting this work with the familiar brick stitch. I will show it so a beginner could understand it, but maybe if you're just starting, it's a good idea to check my other simpler tutorials with brick stitch in the playlist that you will see. And uh, I will start with this row. You see this one, the longest one here. And after that, I will add this and this row. Okay, so now how I start this row, I started with two green beads or in my case they are turquoise. And this first row will be a little bit different and tricky than the others, but then uh, it will continue with the familiar brick stitch. Okay, so I'm taking two turquoise beads to start. Okay, two turquoise beads and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and as I'm exiting through one of them, I will go through the other. By the way, here I want to leave a small tail and later I will uh, finish my work with it. Okay, so now I have these two turquoise beads. I want to go like this. Now, in my next step, if I follow my pattern, I need to take one, two, three more turquoise beads, then a red and again a turquoise. So I'm taking one turquoise and I go like this. And then again through the bead that I just added. I'm adding them one by one with the holes pointing in this direction as you may see. Then I will do this two more times. So what I said, I need five turquoise beads, one red. And then again, one turquoise or green, whatever you have. And then what comes according to my pattern, by the way, uh, this is the way my pattern works in this direction. Okay. So I added one, two, three, four, five turquoise, one red, and then one more turquoise. And now I need to add 10 red beads. Okay, 10 red beads. 
but I'll flip it in this direction because it's easier for me. Okay, so here is the first one that I'm adding. Okay, I will add nine more at, and I'll be back. Okay, and I have my 10 beads here. And by the way, now I think it's better to turn my work in this direction. Uh, because here I will be adding this row and this row and now I'm after this 10 red beads so I'm up to here in my pattern you see. Don't worry that uh, at this stage it looks loose and it's not very beautiful. You We will fix it later so continue in this way and now I need a turquoise, four reds and two turquoise. So I take a turquoise and then add four reds. Okay, four reds and now what I need to add are two turquoise beads okay now guys um, after I did this row I want to make it stay in a nice and a better shape that is why I'm going to reinforce it by going through each bead don't worry only the first row is that difficult and a little bit unpleasant the next rows won't be that unpleasant. Okay, continue and meet me here at this end. Okay, guys, and I'm here at this side. And I just reinforce this long first row. Now I'm going to take my pattern. And I want to add here, guys, these four beads. And I will add them with the brick stitch. and. Here I'm showing decreasing brick stitch because you see how this bead is to the inner side compared to this one. So what I'm going to do, uh, let me show you the whole row how it looks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take two turquoise beads. If you're not familiar with the brick stitch, it always starts with two beads. And when you decrease, when you make decreasing brick stitch, you go under the second thread bridge of your row. Okay. And then you always go through the bit that is closer to the center of your work. And then when you make a decreasing brick stitch, you make an additional reinforcement of the beads that you don't do if you make an increasing brick stitch. But I'll show you later for the increasing one. And then I want to add two more beads. And always when I make brick stitch, only the first step is with two beads and then I continue one by one. So I need to add four turquoise beads. I added two already. And I'm going to add one by one, two more at the next two thread bridges, like this under the thread bridge, and then through this bit. Okay, now I did this. And what I want to do next is reposition my thread. I want to exit here from this side, guys. Okay. And now I'm going to flip my pattern because I will continue with my next long row of beads. Okay, guys. And as I have this, I'm going to start my next row. And that is why I want to take my pattern again in this direction. So you see, I already done this row here, this row here. Then I did this long row, which is the second one. And now I'm here at the third one. And here at the third one, I need four turquoise or green beads. And I start with 
two turquoise and then one by one I will add two more. And now I will show you an increasing brick stitch. So I said I need four turquoise and always when I make brick stitch I start with two beads and when I increase so my beads are sticking out of this row, this means I increase, I go under the first thread bridge here. When I decrease I go through the second as I showed you and now I go through the first and then I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work. Okay, and now I don't reinforce because my beads are not stretching. And from here on guys, I'm going to add one by one at each thread bridge all the beads that I need. And according to my pattern, and my pattern says that I need four turquoise in total, so I need to add these two after the first two that I added in the beginning. Okay, then what my pattern says is that I need a white, two reds and a turquoise. And I'm going to add a white. Two reds. And then a turquoise. Okay, now this is what I have. Let me see what comes next. I'm at the third row. Okay, and now I need 10 red beads, then a turquoise, a red, two whites and three turquoise okay i will make the 10 reds first okay guys and i didn't want to bore you watch me at 10 beads that's why i did it off camera now i what i want to add after this 10 beads is a turquoise a red two whites and three turquoise so Turquoise red, two whites, three turquoise. I will add them and I'll be back. And I'm back after adding a turquoise, a red, two whites and one turquoise. And I need two more turquoise, but I wanted to show you something. So here, when I add the second turquoise, I'm out of thread bridges because I added it at the last thread bridge but I need to add one more turquoise because here I expand and that is why I'm going to take it and add it at the same thread bridge this last thread bridge and here I'm adding two two beads at this bridge okay this is what I have Let me show you the whole length like this and let me compare it with the pattern. Okay, it is almost the same, just this bit here needs to be added. Okay, and how I add it, I should go here like this. I take it and I go under this thread bridge here. Okay. Then again, I go through this bead. And now, what I wanna do is exit again from this bead in this direction. That is why I will reposition my thread Okay, I'm going here, 
then I'm going here. And then I'm going back here again. Okay. Now I'm in a position to start my next row. Okay. And my next row. As you may see, I added one, two, three rows. So one, two, three. So my next row is the fourth row. And it starts with two turquoise and two whites after them. So I take two turquoise beads and I should pay attention whether I increase or decrease. In this case, I decrease. So what I do when I decrease, it's a simple rule. As I'm exiting here, I go under the second thread bridge instead of the first one. Okay like this then what i do i go through the bead that is closer to the center always go through the one that's closer to the center and now when i decrease i do the additional step of reinforcing that i don't do when i increase Then what I set is that I need two white seed beads and I'm adding all of them from now on one by one. So go under the next thread bridge and through this seed bead. Then another and go here. Okay, and from now on, you need to follow this pattern. Okay, you need to follow this row. Here, I added these two and these two. And then I need a red, a turquoise, 10 red, turquoise, 2 red, 2 whites, and 3 turquoise okay i will add all of them and when i'm up to here i'll be back okay guys and i'm ready with this row now i'm adding my last bead here and compare it with my pattern yes i did it correctly and now what I need to do after this row is this one and it starts with two turquoise and what increasing so I take two turquoise and if I increase I always go through the first thread bridge like that then through the one that is closer to the center then i need another turquoise in the next thread bridge okay then what i need next i'm here and what i need next are two whites two reds turquoise three reds and follow along this row and when i'm ready with it i'll be back okay guys and i'm adding here my last bead from this row okay now i will be showing my progress in the next eight frames uh, I'm making a row and I'm showing it to you. In this way, you could pause on each frame and make each row. Uh, the other option is to pause on this pattern or download it from Facebook and follow it up to here. And I will do this off camera and I'll be back. And join the next eight frames.
Okay guys, as you may see I'm here at my pattern and what I need to do is to make the front part of my Christmas sock and in order to do this as I'm exiting from this turquoise bead where I finish this row I'm going to go through all of those beads zigzagging through them because I want to reach this turquoise from where I will start my work. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I was zigzagging, now I'm here through this red bead which is next to the turquoise and I want to exit out of the turquoise in this direction from the inside to the outside. And how I do this, I make a little bit of a thread repositioning. I'm going through the turquoise and through this red after that. Okay, you see. And then I go through the turquoise and through the one that's at the edge that I'm aiming for. Okay. Now I have this and now it's time to take my pattern. But this time I will take it in this direction. And what do we have here? Here I need to make a decreasing brick stitch according to the bead that I'm exiting out of. It is a decreasing brick stitch. And I need two reds, one, two, three, four, five whites and one red. And I'm going to take my two red beads and I'm going, because I decrease, I'm, I'm not going through the first thread bridge after this bead I'm exiting out of, but I'm going through the second. Okay. And then I go through the bead closer to the center. And then I reinforce. Because I decrease, I need to reinforce. And now what I need is to add five white beads one by one. Okay, here they are and I need to add one more red bead, but I'm out of thread bridges. That is why I'm adding it at the last thread bridge. So I will have in this case two at my last thread bridge. Okay. And as I'm exiting here, I want to consult with my pattern. So I just did this row. And I need to do this one and it starts with a red and a white and after that three more whites and I take a red and a white and what I do here is that I decrease you see I'm going to the inner side compared to this bit so I decrease I take these two and I go under the second thread bridge, not through this one, but through this one. Then I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work. And what else I do when I decrease? I reinforce. Okay, I think you get the idea guys and now I'm going to show you with fast frames uh, the other rows how I'm making them. You, you know everything you need to finish this work. Okay, I'll show you faster. Okay, this is the next row and consult with your pattern with for this row two reds four whites and one red okay i'll make it okay here it is and i'm starting my next this row is also ready pause and make it my fifth row is ready pause and make it i'm ready with this one pause and make it i'm also ready with this one and according to my pattern i have one row left with two beads Okay, and I'm going to add them. These are turquoise beads. 
Okay, here they are. I'm exiting out of this bit. And I want to go through the second thread bridge from here because I'm decreasing. There are only two thread bridges. Okay, and what else I do when I decrease? I reinforce. The same rules apply even if you make a row of two beads and you have only two thread bridges. Okay. So now what I want to do is zigzag through my beads and cut my thread. Of course, if you want, you could make a small knot, but it's not obligatory. Okay, I here will make a small knot. I make a loop and I go through it. And then I'm going and zigzagging several times through my beads and when I feel my work is secure enough I'm cutting my thread and I will put my needle here on this tail thread and I'll zigzag through my beads and I'll cut it as well okay see you in a while Okay guys, and now my beaded Christmas sock is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more tutorials like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell. In this way, you will be inspired often, usually twice a week with my new tutorials. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, PayPal link for donations, link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And from my Facebook page, by the way, you could download this pattern if you want. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.